what we're here outside Starlight Drive-In. I don't know, Nick. It sounded bad. The radio call came in. Something about Nuka World, caps, and drugs. I don't know. But it sounded really bad. I hope we made it in time. Look alive. Let's go, Nick. Moving out. We gotta check this out. I saw a flare go up not too long ago on the way up the road, but... Oh, dear God. They already got one of our Brahmin. This must have been our provisioner. Man. This was one of the first settlements that I even hit up when I first got out of the vault. Oh my God. I think we're already too late. I don't see anything. I don't hear anything. Oh, Nick. This is bad. We gotta get up here. We gotta get a better view. Oh, man. I really wish I had a better sniper rifle. Thank God for this ACOG scope on this 10 millimeter. Oh, I see two down there by the food storage shed. You see him? Nick. Oh my god. The guard. Nick. Ne never mind, come on. Oh god, they killed the guard. I don't think we, we definitely didn't make it in time. I'm sorry, buddy. I'll make it up to you. Nick. There's something you need. Wait right here. Come on. Dogs? They didn't hurt the dogs. Why hurt the dogs? Okay. Why didn't the dogs attack them? These guys must be like friendly. What? He's the one that sent the flare. Damn. It was too late. I'll avenge you, my friend. Oh, Bill was a good dude. So these are Nuka World Gang members. Some kind of hoods. The dogs are fine. Why didn't they? Oh God, they got the scavenger. I see target number one, and good night, son. Oh, oh God, oh, oh. the silence gun. Why? How? Okay, that's what you get for sneaking in in the broad daylight. Under the cover of afternoon. Come on, Nick. What do we got? Oh, sh shoot. Ah. Well, no sense whispering anymore. Let's get him. Nick, you take the guys on the left. I got the right. Nick, where? Nick, where are you? Ah, Nick, all right, fine. I'll get the left. You get the right. Jesus. Take. Ah. What a time to run out of ammo. Get him. Nick, use those grenades I gave you. Get it from the hip. and <laughs> Bloody mess for the win. Okay, well, I could have done better. This is one of the oldest places that I set up. So, oh, oh, okay. Not a time to be talking about that right now. Eat it. Uh oh. Okay. Stronger than I thought. Good thing I brought the party favors. All aboard, Nick! Oh. <laughs> okay, wasn't that funny? I hope I didn't kill any dogs. Okay, I'm glad I only brought one. Okay, time to bring out the big gun. Hiding behind my own turret. <laughs> Go, 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 go. Okay. Get behind the shit. Oh, come on. Oh, God. It's one of my farmers. You'll pay for this, bastards. Good job with the grenades, Nick. Could have used a little bit earlier. Okay. Is that all of them? I think it's all of them. Man. I could have, oh, the chickens are fine. Great. Yeah. Everybody else dies except for the animals. I guess that's a good thing. Disciple. It's a disciple. 
Sorry about that, ma'am. But I had to take these back. What else? Man, they cleaned this place out good. They didn't save anything. There's like no clothing left. Only a few beds. Did you guys at least save the dog's food? No. Hey, hey, Nick, you found a new rifle. Nice. Looks good on you, man. You guys okay? Alright. What the hell is... Oh, man. Sorry, bud. I'll make it up to you. Oh, man. They killed everybody. I hope somebody got away. I had at least 15 settlers here. Oh. So this is the one that took them all. Um, I'm gonna find the rest of you. I gotta get to Nuke World. What the heck is this thing? It's like a box. Is that a loot crate? No, I can't even get into it. I don't think you're gonna need this anymore, guys. I don't know what that does, but... Certainly not something we're gonna have around here. Alright. Man, this is gonna take months to clean this up. We gotta get settlers back in here. Come on, Nick. We gotta get back to the castle. Let's go. And welcome back to Starlight Drive-In. Well, as you can see, it took a couple of months, but we got it up and running stronger, better. I would say faster, but you know, it's a settlement, it doesn't move. We now have a full regiment of Minutemen that come through here daily, guarding both the in and out. They travel between all of our settlements. Uh, we managed to fully close everything in to keep everything in. We very much are proud of this uh, really awesome turret system here. It is guarded by our lucky Jaggles the Moon Monkey. Finally found a use for him other than scaring the crap out of people. It is battery powered, just in case. Never know. And <clears throat> we kept the same theme of the Raiders. So we decided that actually that the Raiders... Uh, were a good influence in a way. We turned a negative into a positive. So now everybody took all the clothing and armors off of all the raiders that were based here and we disguised all the uh, settlers as raiders. So now anybody wanting to attack, they'll think they're actually attacking a big raider base out of Nuka World. All the lights are of course working again. So everything is lit up at night. We got a minigun turret here on the back of the settlement, or the front, depending on which way you come from. So raiders and super mutants better think twice before they come out this side. Or come in this side. <laughs> uh, working fence here in the back. So we managed to get that up and running. A little turpentine. A little oil. Does wonders. And back here at the gate, we replaced the old gate that was here. This is now an auto-closing gate, so nobody's going to rush in and out. Another turret here. These are Mark Seven turrets. Again, find out what you can do with the old stuff and upgrade it to the new. Uh, we're completely closed in. Lights running all the way around. Nice. And another turret here. And we have three guards posted at the front end because we generally have super mutants that come up that back road. We will not have another uh, case of uh, getting taken over. And if they do, then I'm in already. Coming in the front end, you'll notice here that we move some of the trailers around, make it a little more defensible. Uh, all the dogs are still alive. Yay. Minus one super mutant hound. That, uh, well, for reasons. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So we prettied up a couple of the old trucks that were out here. Gussing them up, you could say. Uh, this nice ice box here. Since I have one at the Wanderer's Lounge, we actually brought one over in. So that we can get everybody some chilled drinks whenever they need it. Whether it be booze or soda pop. We took the old food storage. Oh, there's an example of one of our quote-unquote raiders. And we turned the food storage warehouse into a brand new bar. Huh? 
uh, everybody's fidelity. That's the uh, <laughs> the way that the uh, bartender keeps uh, peace here at night and the day. Never know who's going to get rowdy. Nice. And breakfast of champions, sugar bombs. We got some jet and uh, Nuka Cola Ray, ice cold. Nice. And, yeah, these guys need to pick up after themselves. Yeah, nice little party. And uh, just to keep up appearances, we are actually making our own uh, liquor here. Isn't that something? I don't know what they're using the Mr. Handy Fuel for, but hey, whatever sells, whatever sells. <laughs> we got to make some money. Uh, nothing much down changed back here. Everything still is the same. What's that? And nobody's getting through this backside. Anybody up on the hill there will get dusted by that uh, turret. Again, another Mark 7 explosive rounds. Nice. And we got a brand new wall back here just to keep everything in. And including some nice carrots. Courtesy of yours truly. Nice. Our Uncle Quapa took care of that. <laughs> and let's see what do we got plenty of uh, storage for all of our trash of course and we have a uh, medic on duty and we got a brand new uh, house back here modular and this is where I tend to stay when I come staying here I guess that would make sense and I'm going to make sure that uh, everybody's armed and ready because we have brand new workbenches, or excuse me, crafting stations, teehee. And we even got some nuka grenades, just in case. The going gets rough. <laughs> nice. We did gussy it up with a few more flowers just to make it look nice. Uh, we couldn't get the... Uh, ground even there so we just threw a couple of rocks under there it's good enough and let's see what do we have ah okay and then you know a few settlers uh this is where our uh both our armor and uh weapons dealer sleep and our uh store guard sleeps back here as well and then all of our dogs they get fed in this trailer here. Well, some of them do. Uh, I don't know. This one uh, tends to be into... What do we got here? Yeah. Oh, okay, some crispy... Uh, crave Cricket. Crave Cricket? I crave Cricket. Crispy Cave. Uh, this dog apparently uh, will only eat Deathclaw Wellington. Uh, it's, a, it's a finicky dog. I don't know. Gotta love dogs, right? They only like what they like. And let's see. What do we got back here? Yeah, um, we kind of uh, disposed of those raiders' bodies. Yeah, they kind of, uh, well, they just won't be bothering anybody anymore. Let's see, got some chicken for everybody. Nice. And this dog is a vegetarian. Go figure. Again, dogs like what they like. Let's see. We do have a brand new doctor on site. She does all of her makes all of her chems back here and sells them to the Commonwealth for a price. Hence why we sell them. And back here is where our guards sleep. They have their own storage. Not much to it. They don't really stay in here. They're pretty much up there all the time between the three guards. And that's our weapons dealer. Don't know why he's hanging out down here. Should get back to work, man. Uh, this is our doctor. She actually is a former uh, Brotherhood of Steel scribe. She actually now uh, comes to work for us. And uh, she takes care of everybody. She's a bit of a gun nut, though, which is kind of odd for a doctor. Not today. Fine. Um, we're good. Thanks. All right. All right. Let's see. Go out here. This is the uh, waiting area where everybody hangs out when they're waiting to see the doctor. And that's my farmer. I guess maybe maybe she's waiting to uh, see the doctor. 
got to get those sexually transmitted diseases uh, taken care of, I guess. Nice. Ooh, new Cola Victory. All right. Might have that later. Uh, this is the uh, doctor's uh, bedroom. Again, as I said, she is a bit of a gun nut. So why not have guns and bullets back here? She's a reader. She's a smart one, that girl. Oh, should put this away. Must have been cleaning it. Nice. She has probably the nicest bed in the entire place. She does get out from time to time. Yes. She is definitely not a home buddy, the doctor. Nice. All right. Got the bathroom back there. We'll show you that on the night tour. Because it looks nice in the night tour. And let's see. I'm just so we got back hungry here? all the oh, time. Excuse me. Come on. Look, I know this is your bedroom, but can I please get in there? All right, dude. Do that. Come on. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. All right. There we go. So this is where the uh, farmer stays. And I'm not sure who else stays back yeah. here. Oh, uh, the scavenger. I think that's, yeah, the scavenger stays back here. Scavenger, uh, that's one of his rifles. And get back to work. Let's see. And up here is the storage area for our uh, weapons dealer and armor dealer. We have plenty of stuff uh, on hand. Got some jet in there. Plenty of purified water. Stealth boy just in case. And some yummy whiskey. And some more chems here and uh, medical supplies. Dirty water just in case. You never know. Emergencies happen. Plenty of water. Got plenty of ammo for everybody. Well, I guess we could sell most of this. Some rifle rounds. And fusion core. Never know. Again, this is just basically the back stock for the uh, stores. And a few supplies for the settlement. Nice. Alright. And this is usually where our weapons dealer hangs out. His uh, chair here. He likes his cigars from time to time. And this is his stall. Again, I don't know why he's not up here, but hey. Maybe he's on break. Yeah, that's probably what it is. He's probably on break. Another day of hard work. Never nice. changes. Mm. Nicola love. Because I love you all's babies. Oh, hey, we got a customer. How you doing? Alright, so this is... Uh, got a few things here that we can sell off. My back hurts. Got some more ammo here in the front. This is what the general public sees most of the time when they're huh? rummaging through our bins. And, huh, he's on break, but he didn't take his lunch. Whatever. All right. And this is our uh, guard for our stalls. This is the armor. Again, everybody is uh, in their best gear here. Biggest town I so I believe she's wearing something from the uh, operators. And, oh, she keeps some money in there, too. Nice. And, of course, you know, blah. Yeah. <laughs> a few backstock things. Nice. She sells a few odds and ends as well. Got to make those caps. Plenty of materials for everything. In case you want to fix up your armor, fix up your weapons. Nice. And then back here again, this is a storage for the workshop. Just in case you need the extra supplies on hand. And this is a little break area for everybody to hang out. Yes. And another little part of the break area. They drink on the job. It's a hard day living in the wasteland. Or a hard time living in the wasteland. Nice. Well guys, that is pretty much going to do it. I do thank you so much for those that watched. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to take the night tour. It is very short. I am Adama Sanguine. I love you all. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you would. If you hit the like button, if you're so inclined, it is appreciated as well. Good night.
how are you?